नमस्ते वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल एल के जी लास्ट नाइट गुरु वेर नाइट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम के एंड के स्टैंड फॉर नॉलेज so today's topic is uh, tsp that is called as a traveling salesman problem okay so in short form it is called as a tsp traveling salesman problem so first let us look at this graph okay what type of a graph is this this is a complete graph see this is a complete graph okay <clears throat> why we see it as a complete graph because every node has a direct route for every other node that is why it is called as complete graph it is not a directed graph it is an undirected graph because there is no any particular direction so that we can move both the ways we can move from a to b as well as we can move to b to a okay so this is a complete graph and this is a traveling salesman problem so first let us understand what is the problem statement of this traveling salesman problem okay the problem statement is very simple so there is one salesman okay let us say his name is something x okay he wants to travel from his home let us take the source or home as node a okay this this is his home okay i'll just mark it here yes so this is his home okay see from his home he need to travel to every other city and then return back to his home that is what the salesman do right exactly so in order to travel to all the cities one thing he should make uh, take care of is that the cost should be minimum that is that we need to find the optimal solution so now the question comes what is optimal solution optimal solution is nothing but the best solution okay so first we are going to find out all the feasible solutions and then out of all the feasible solution we are going to find the optimal solution what is feasible solution feasible solutions are all possible solutions which we can find for this graph that is a simple thing and out of all the feasible solution we will find the optimal solution okay now let us start with this home graph that is a okay so he will start his tour from root a the source node is a okay let us call this city as bangalore okay and c is nothing but chennai and d is delhi okay this traveling salesman has to go from his home to bangalore chennai as well as delhi and then return back to his home okay see he is starting from the home that is his source that is from the node a what are the possible ways he can go see it's very simple from a correct he can go to three possible cities what are those three possible cities bangalore chennai or delhi that is b c or d from a he can go to b from a he can go to c from a he can go to d right once if he goes to b if he reaches the b what are the other two options that he is having from b either he can go to c or either he can go to d as simple as that same thing if he reaches c then from c either he can go to b or then he can go to d then from d if he reaches from a to d first then either he can go to b or either he can go to c simple thing right so a b c is covered which is the next city which is remaining obviously it would be d same thing if he reaches from a b d then he would go to c correct next if he reaches from a c b then he would reach to d if he reaches from a c d the only option left is he should go to b if he goes from a to d d to b and then the only option left is c if he is moving from a to d and then from d to c the only option left is he should move to d these are the only options that a traveling salesman problem can have correct now after reaching all the other nodes what is the problem statement the problem statement is that he need to move back to his home that is what is his home he need to go back to his source a correct see from d he will go back to a from c he will go back to a from d also he will go back to a from b same thing go back to a from c he will go back to a 
and from B also we will go back to A. This that's it. This is the traveling salesman problem. The only thing left is we need to add the cost by looking at this graph. Okay, now let us add the cost for this. What is the cost from A to B? Look at this graph and just write down the cost. What is the cost from A to B? A to B the cost is 2. What is the cost from A to C? A to C the cost is 5. What is the cost from A to D? A to D the direct cost is 7. Correct? Same thing. Now, B to C, what is the cost from B to C? B to C, the cost is 8. What is the cost from B to D? B to D, the cost is 3. C to B, C to B, again the cost is 8. And C to D, the cost is 1. D to B, the cost is 3. D to C, the cost is 1. Correct? We are done with the level 2. Now, coming to C to D, again C to D, the cost is 1. D to C, the cost is 1. B to D, the cost is 3. D to B, the cost is 3. B to C, the cost is 8. And C to B, the cost is 8. Correct? Same thing again from D to A. The D to A, the cost is 7. C to A, the cost is 5. D to A, the cost is 7. B to A, the cost is 2. C to A, again 5. And B to A, it is 2. Done. Now we need to add the all the costs. <coughs> okay. We need to add all the costs. Let us see here. What is 2 plus 8 plus 1 plus 7? 2 plus 8 is 10. 10 plus 1, 11. 11 plus 7, the cost would come up to 18. Correct. 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 1, 6. So 6 plus 5, the cost is 11. 5 plus 8. Okay, 5 plus 8 plus 3 plus 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 plus 8 is 18. 18 plus 5 is 23. Correct. 5 plus 1, 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 2, again, this comes to 11. Okay. 7 plus 3, 10. 10 plus 8, 18. 18 plus 5, again, this the cost is 23. 7 plus 1, 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 plus 2 is 18. So, these are the costs that we got. The next thing is uh, we need to find which is the minimum cost that we got. Very simple. The minimum cost we got is 11 as well as 11. We have got two minimum costs. What is that route? We need to write down the route. That is from A to C. We are following this route. Can you see? I will mark this with this blue marker. A to B, B to D, D to C and then from C to A. This is the minimum cost that we got. A to B, B to D, D to C and then back from C to A. This is the one way which we got. The second way, again we got 11, write on that solution also. A to C, C to D, D to B and then from B to A. Write on that also. A to C, C to D, D to B and then from B to A. And the minimum cost that we got is... 11. So, this is the traveling salesman problem. So, how the salesman should travel? He should start from his home A and then he should travel to Bangalore. From Bangalore, he should travel to Delhi and from Delhi, he should travel to Chennai and then come back to his home. As simple as that. He can choose this way or he can choose this way. A to C, C to D, D to B and then from B to A. We will see how many solutions did we get. Okay. I will just rub the graph. So the total number of nodes in traveling salesman problem were 4. So uh, our n was equal to 4 where n represents the total number of nodes or cities. Correct. So total there were 4 nodes and how many solutions did we get? We got 6 solutions. For this we have a formula that is n minus 1 factorial. This is for a complete graph. This is for a complete graph. Okay, that is 4 minus 1 factorial, which is also equal to 3 factorial. 3 factorial is equals to 3 into 2 into 1. That is nothing but 6. How many solutions did we get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Correct. So this is the formula to calculate how many roots we might get. What are the what are these six? These are the solutions. What type of solutions? These are feasible solutions. 
out of these six feasible solution which are our optimal solutions 11 and 11 are our optimal solutions why it is an optimal solution because they are the best solutions okay all six are the solutions correct he can travel in any random order he wants but which will minimize the cost these two will minimize the cost correct so that's why this all six solutions will be the feasible solution and only these two solutions will be the optimal solutions so with this uh, we complete our uh, today's topic traveling salesman problem using brute force technique so in the next video we will cover the more topics from design analysis of algorithm till then keep sharing the video thanks for watching